Can you explain why NFTs are not necessarily permanent? All right, so there are two parts to an NFT. The first part is the part that's on the blockchain, which is usually saying that a wallet that you know, for which you might have the private key, Tim, goes with a number. And that number is then supposed to be associated with a URL. That's the part that's on the blockchain. You know, blockchains are relatively permanent. So that would be the part that you think that's the immutable part. But then there's a question of the URL. And the URL could be pointing towards Amazon S3. Uh, the URL could be pointing towards something like IPFS. And there's no guarantee that this, any of those storage mechanisms will continue to be around for any significant period of time, right? Real quick, unlike Ethereum, there's no gas limit on expressing your graph attitude so go ahead and click that like button thank you so if it's pointing towards an s3 bucket or a regular website then you're hoping somebody's paying the bill to keep that up if it's pointing towards an ipfs hash you might think that's more immutable but it's not somebody has to be paying the bill for that uh, data to be stored even though it's retrievable using ipfs an ipfs url so the token part is relatively immutable and permanent but the asset the token refers to which is usually what we think of when we think of an N uh, nft like the jpeg that part, if somebody's not paying the bill for it, that's not going to stay public or, or available out on the web. So if you want your NFT to be permanent, you download it and you keep it. And then the hash that's associated with that on the blockchain is going to be your proof of ownership. As always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.